Earlier this week, the unfortunate news of Jerry Jarrett's death hit the wrestling world, and one person who was greatly impacted by it was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Hollywood actor shared how he will never forget the wrestling legend for all the things he did for his family. Jerry Jarrett was a notable wrestling promoter, mainly in the Memphis, Tennessee area. He was the founder of the Continental Wrestling Association and even co-founded NWA TNA alongside his son and legendary wrestler Jeff Jarrett. However, Jerry's contributions extend beyond the sport. As a promoter, most of Jarrett's time was spent backstage. Although most fans may have not seen him very often, he was able to help and handle a number of legendary and successful wrestlers. One of those being Dwayne Johnson's father, Rocky Johnson. Jerry gave Rocky a job, which helped him support his family. The Rock also goes on to describe how he will never forget when Jerry also gave him a job when Johnson was just coming up in wrestling and only had seven bucks. Hey, so this is not a post that I enjoy doing, but it's certainly an appropriate post and it's definitely a respectful post. Uh, in the world, uh, the wild world of pro wrestling, the world that I love, we lost a legend this week and uh, the name of that legend is Jerry Jarrett. And while most of you may not be familiar with that name, you may recognize the last name Jarrett. Uh, Jerry Jarrett's son, Jeff Jarrett, uh, WWE legend, good buddy of mine. I've known him since I was a little kid. We came up together in the world of wrestling, certainly in the, in, uh, the Memphis, Tennessee territory, which I'm gonna get to in a second. But uh, Jeff Jarrett uh, and the Jarrett family, Jeff lost his dad and the Jarrett family lost the uh, the patriarch of the family, Jerry Jarrett. And I want to take a moment to acknowledge Jerry's contributions uh, to the world of pro wrestling. Of course, the world that I love. Um, and for those, many of you who don't know, before wrestling became the global sensation that it is today, uh, dominated by the WWE, uh, before it became a publicly traded company, uh, across the country were little territories, smaller territories where uh, regional territories where wrestlers would wrestle for maybe a year, year and a half, or when their run was done, they packed their stuff and they drove on down the road. Literally, we would pack the back of our cars and we'd drive on down the road to the next territory. So I lived on the road the majority of my childhood. And one of the territories that we went to when I was a kid was Memphis Wrestling. And Memphis Wrestling, at one time, uh, and this is not hyperbole, at one time in the 70s, the, the early 80s and the mid 80s, and I think even creeping up into the late 80s, uh, was the hottest wrestling territory in the country. It was on fire at the Mid-South Coliseum and every Saturday morning, 10 a.m., Channel 5 Wrestling, wrestlers would wrestle there in the studio. Uh, and Jerry Jarrett was the maestro of that. He created and built and fostered this incredible wrestling territory uh, and I got to tell you, as a fan and a lover of the world of pro wrestling, uh, Memphis wrestling in the late 70s, early 80s had such a strong influence on my career, how I worked uh, the microphone, how I worked in my matches, uh, the storytelling that I would put in my matches, how I uh, decided that I wanted to become a ring general. There was so much of Memphis wrestling that influenced my style. And that was all because of Jerry Jarrett. And I also want to acknowledge Jerry Jarrett. There was my father, my dad, the soul man, Rocky Johnson, he wrestled for Jerry Jarrett uh, and Jerry Lawler, who owned, who owned a piece of that company back then in the late 70s. And then my dad went back to wrestle for Jerry Jarrett um, in 1986-87 when we were evicted off the island of Hawaii. We couldn't pay the rent and my dad was having a real hard time finding a job and Jerry Jarrett gave him a job. And I'll never forget that. I always appreciate it. I just want to publicly acknowledge that about Jerry at a time when we really needed it. I appreciate that so much. And then years later, this punk kid came in uh, when I had seven bucks in my pocket, the infamous seven bucks. Uh, I didn't have a job either, but I had a passion for pro wrestling. I thought I had something to offer. And Jerry Jarrett gave me a job in 1996 and I'll never forget it. So thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. And to Jeff Jarrett, my buddy, and his wife, Karen, and the entire Jarrett family, I'm so sorry for your loss. Stay strong. I'm sending you guys all the love and light and the mana and the strength during this time. I've been there, and I know the pain of what it's like to lose a dad. So uh, I want to try and end this on an uptick. 
on a positive note to the Jarrett family and to all the world of pro wrestling uh, and to the world at large. Um, what a life that that man lived. Uh, what contributions, but what a life, what an impact. And what a life that man lived and what a life we all have to, to celebrate. All right, Jarrett family, Jeff and everybody stay strong. Love you guys. And um, right now, Jerry and the soul man are up there <laughs> looking down. All right, you guys stay strong.